Hi here everybody and welcome to today's dinner and a movie. For today I'll be reviewing the movie Elvis and later trying some southern food at Red Robin such as their brisket sandwich and some of their southern sides. Do you like my necklace? Please hit like and subscribe so I can bring you more fun and entertaining content. Now let's get started with today's review. There are some who'd make me out to be the villain of this here story. Let's don't let a good thing die. I really like this slow, modernized version of Suspicious Minds. I wish they would have reworked some more of his songs and added them into the movie like this and actually finished them. Without me, there would be no Elvis Presley. Suspicious Minds. Comic book heroes all find their superpowers. Elvis found music. Are you born with destiny? Or does it just come knocking at your door? There's a young singer from Memphis, Tennessee. Give him a warm hayride welcome. Mr. Elvis Presley. I like this background showing the cultural influences that Elvis used to create his own individual sound, from comic books to black culture and even gospel. Come on, you gotta get on in. They've already announced you on the radio. Come on, let's go. He's a young singer from Memphis, Tennessee. Give him a warm hayride welcome to a Mr. Elvis Presley. Oi. In that moment, I watched that skinny boy transform into a superhero. Well, you may go to college, you may go to school, you may have a pink Cadillac, but don't you make nobody true now, baby. Don't Looks like they want to... <laughs> Now I don't know nothing about music, but I could see in that girl's eyes, he was a taste of forbidden fruit. She could have eaten him alive. The main focus of the story is going to be the relationship between the Colonel and Elvis. I wish to promote you, Mr. Presley. Walk to a party and a child in jail. Are you ready to fly? I'm ready. Ready to fly. Tomorrow, all of America will be talking about Elvis Presley. He likes to jiggle it. In jail. The world's moving. They might put me in jail for walking across the street, but you're a famous white boy. The way he sings is God given, so there can't be nothing wrong with it. You don't so much as wiggle a finger. There's a lot of people saying a lot of things. But in the end, you gotta listen to yourself. And he wiggled it. Trouble. I'm gonna show you what the real Elvis is like tonight! You looking for trouble? Came to the right place. You're looking for trouble? Just look right in my face. I think they're looking at something else. Bones showing up and talking back. 
You heathen. Never met anyone like you. I hope not. They did focus on Elvis in this movie, but I wanted to see a little more with Priscilla. I'm gonna be for the show. And nobody's gonna remember me. I need to get back to who I really am. And who are you, Oz? I'm Batman. The rest of the movie focuses on Elvis and the Colonel's relationship, how the Colonel lied to him, took advantage of him, didn't tell him who he was, stole money from him, how the colonel tried to swindle Elvis to stay in his good graces in order to pay off his debt. You bled me dry and you still want more? I am a promoter. That is what I do. We are the same, you and I. We are two odd lonely children reaching for eternity. Eventually he works Elvis into the ground and Elvis eventually dies. The greatest show on earth. Elvis? So that was my reaction to the Elvis movie. Please stay tuned while I do a review of Red Robin's Southern Brisket Sandwich plus Southern Sides. Now on to my review. I like this movie. The performances were great. I love Tom Hanks. I love the actor that played Elvis. They were both fantastic. I was a little bit disappointed as I wanted to see a more modern take in this movie adding more modern soundtracks into it, like Baz Luhrmann did with Moulin Rouge and the Elephant Love Medley, where he took modernized versions of songs, put it together, and told the story. I thought that would have been really neat and would have pushed this over the edge. Uh, I like the movie. I like the story focusing more on Elvis and people taking advantage of him. They could have added more scenes with Priscilla and his home life in it. I also like the graphics. I love the Vegasy style glitzy graphics that they put in here. I thought that was a nice touch. If they would have added some more surreal montage moments like the Elephant Love Medley, I think this would have pushed us up to the 10 range. Because they didn't do that and they just told another story about Elvis, I'm probably going to give this 7 out of 10 guitars. Please stay tuned while I do a review of Red Robin Southern Brisket Sandwich plus Southern Sides. So after the Elvis movie, I mosey on down to Red Robin where I tried their new smoked brisket sandwiches and Southern Sides. I waltzed in and was quickly seated by my little birdie friend and waited to get my menu. In theme with our Elvis movie, I decided to try their Whiskey River Backyard Barbecue Meals and Treats. First was a smokehouse brisket burger, a fire grilled beef burger topped with Whiskey River barbecue sauce, chopped smoked brisket, black pepper bacon, provolone cheese, roasted jalapenos, dill pickle planks, onion straws, and chipotle aioli on a brioche bun with bottomless steak fries. Next was smothered barbecue brisket chips, Yukon chips topped with beer cheese sauce, Chopped smoked brisket, hardwood smoked bacon, diced red onions, dill pickles, and drizzle with Whiskey River barbecue sauce. And lastly was our pineapple upside down cake milkshake, creamy vanilla soft serve blended ice cream with pineapple juice and cake flavoring, topped with whipped cream caramel sauce. My service was excellent and they quickly brought out my first item, which was a new smothered barbecue brisket chips, which consisted of Yukon chips topped with beer cheese sauce, chopped smoked brisket, hardwood smoked bacon, diced red onions, dill pickles, and drizzled with Whiskey River barbecue sauce. And those were $10.49. So here we see our seasoned chips topped with brisket. Mmm. These are good. An interesting combination of flavors. I wish there was a little bit more meat and cheese on here, but these are pretty good. The pickles gave it a nice refreshing taste after eating the salt and the cheese and all the bacon and everything on it. 
These are pretty decent appetizers. I think they could have been a little more flavorful, had a little more stuff on them, a little more cheese, a little more meat. So I'm probably going to give these six and a half guitars out of ten. <laughs> Next I tried the star of the show, which is Red Robin's new Smokehouse Brisket Burger. This consisted of a fire-grilled beef burger topped with Whiskey River barbecue sauce, chopped smoked brisket, black peppered bacon, provolone cheese, roasted jalapenos, dill pickle planks, onion straws, and chipotle only on a toasted brioche bun, which was $15.99. At first look, it was very heavy and very juicy. The bun also looked really good, and it was packed full of meat. Mmm, this is really good. The bun is delicious and buttery. There's a lot of meat on here and the meat is very tender. It melts in your mouth. There is some barbecue sauce on here, but it's not overpowering. It is sweet, but it doesn't over flavor the meat. You can also taste the peppered bacon with the cheese and also a hint of that spicy hot jalapeno sauce. I really, really like this. I think I'm gonna give this eight out of 10 guitars. <laughs> Let's try the bottomless steak fries that came with my juicy brisket burger. Mmm. These are good. They're crispy on the outside, nicely seasoned, very tender, and very large on the inside. They come as bottomless fries. You can get as many as you want to. And you can order between four to six different types of ketchup. The red one is the sweet and spicy ketchup. And I got this creamy campfire sauce. These were delicious, plus they were bottomless. So I think I'm gonna give these nine out of 10 guitars. <laughs> Lastly, for my dessert, I tried the new pineapple upside down cake milkshake. Forbidden fruit. This consisted of creamy vanilla soft serve blended with pineapple juice and cake flavor, topped with whipped cream, pineapple, caramel sauce, and a maraschino cherry. <laughs> Let's give this yummy shake a taste. Mmm. This is really pleasant tasting. So even if you don't like pineapple, and I'm not a huge pineapple fan, I think you're gonna like this. It's a very pleasant, soft, not too overpowering pineapple taste. The caramel makes it really, really good. These flavors all blend perfectly together, plus you have a real pineapple and a nice juicy cherry on top. Let's give that cherry a taste too. <laughs> good. I'm gonna give this seven and a half guitars out of 10. Please Lord, don't let him hurt my baby. So that was my review of Baz Luhrmann's Elvis movie and Red Robin's Southern Brisket Treats and Burgers. Please hit like and subscribe so I can bring you more fun and entertaining content. Please comment below on what you liked and didn't like whether you saw this movie and tried the food below. Have fun eating and have fun watching movies. Bye bye!